Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at two of the latest products from Radio Master. They have had a very strong year this year making stuff for the Express LRS radio system and they're finishing just as strongly. These two things here are available. One is available right now, the other one is available on the 27th. The first one is the receiver. This, this receiver is a new one. This is the one that's actually available on the 27th of December. This is a diversity receiver capable of Gemini, but also has something a bit funky in it. And we'll talk about that more in a moment. The second is a UART connector. Now, for those of you that watch the videos of mine regularly, you'll remember I did a video all about how you can update a Express LRS receiver. So there are three ways. There's via Wi-Fi, which I really like, via beta flight, essentially via the flight controller, where it acts as the connection to the computer for a USB cable. Or if you don't have a flight controller that it's connected to and you're just updating it before you're putting it in something, or you're not using flight controllers at all, then this last one here is a little UART connector that you plug into the USB port on your computer, and that allows you to then flash the receiver directly. Now, that is available right now. That's a product that you can buy straight away. And if you are into Express LRS or looking for a cheap and cheerful thing for your Christmas list, I would definitely put that on the wish list. So next time you're doing an order, maybe add one of those. Having had these kind of UART flashes before for different systems, they are worth the weight in gold for the handful of times you're going to need one when a receiver is being a bit of a pain in the backside and just won't flash using one of the other methods. So let's have a look at the receiver first. This is called the RP4TD, again out on the 27th of December. This is Gemini mode compatible, and Gemini mode, I've talked about it on the channel before, but it's a new mode that was introduced recently and kind of gives you kind of two connections simultaneously to the model using the same frequency, so unlike the tandem system from people like FreeSky, but it allows you to have super super diversity I guess but it will also run as a diversity receiver. Radio Master put a lot of effort into the signal to noise ratio and our SSI performance of this thing and they have upgraded the antennas. The antennas as you can see are a little bit different and they're designed to be a lot more durable and give you a higher performance. UART pads are on the side so hopefully they're going to be supporting some of the other things that will be coming in the next year and the big thing about this is it has dual TCXOs temperature controlled crystal oscillators now I've talked about this in the past and having these on receivers is a very good idea because the accuracy of the frequency that's being used as a reference on board the receiver is really important to its performance and it does change as a coefficient of temperature unless it is temperature compensated like this. Now most receivers of this type will have a single TCXO, a single oscillator that then runs both of the channels. You can see here there are these two pads. The individual chips are the completely separate receivers here for the true diversity setup. Radio Master have done something a little bit unusual. They're actually using a dual TCXO setup, so basically one for each channel. Now that presents a lot of challenges in terms of electrically, how do you make sure that the oscillators are in sync so that the receivers are in sync and there's lots of additional challenges. However, Radio Master did this just as a test to see how the performance worked and they found that when they tested a single TCXO versus a dual TCXO, the dual TCXO setup slightly outperformed the single one. So they decided that that was the version they were going to ship. Now, there are some dearly held beliefs by some people about why this is a bad idea. However, if the proof is in the pudding and this performs better than a single TXO receiver, then Radio Master, thank you for trying it, testing it, and shipping the one that performs the best. Two 100 milliwatt RF telemetry outputs on this. So essentially this is two receivers in one and it's going to be compatible with all 2.4 gig Express LRS modules and transmitters on the 2.4 gig Express LRS system. Weight of this thing, it's only 1.4 grams without the antennas, 23.7 by 16.3 by 4 millimeters and it ships with Express LRS version 3.3 pre-installed. The firmware target for it is Radio Master RP40D 2400RX and it has the bus interfaces of CRSF, which is going to be plugged into something like a flight controller, and an extended UART interface at the side with these two extra pads. 
The other unit then is this UART flasher. This is a relatively cheap and cheerful thing. It's only about £10 and again worth its weight in gold. This is one you keep in the box for those times when you're struggling to flash a receiver and it just isn't playing game. It plugs into the port of your computer as shown in all the graphics and you kind of connect it up to the CRSF connections on the receiver and there is a list of compatible receivers on the website with it. If you want me to make a video showing you how to use this then do let me know because until now I haven't had one of these tools around. I have been pretty much exclusively flashing receivers using the Wi-Fi method. Now this is equipped with multiple protective circuits including overcurrent and reverse protection so if you do accidentally connect something the wrong way you're not going to blow anything up. Optionable 3.3 and 5 volt pins and it has standard 2.54 pin outputs. This is essentially servo pins. On the side there is an RM CRSF and a JSTGH interface output so that is going to give you the option to plug in things like ER series receivers directly does come with dew point wires in the packet if you don't have those hanging around. The connectors that you get with this little flasher tool are pretty impressive too. One is a little spring loaded, looks like a pitchfork. That's perfect for just putting the connections onto the receiver so you don't have to unsolder it to power it. And the second one is you have these little spring loaded catches that go on the end of the little servo pins. And that allows you to connect them to other receivers that already have wires using the bare conductors. I really like both of these options. And in fact, I'm probably gonna keep this kit on my bench because this in terms of testing and configurations and setup and stuff is going to be very very handy to have access to. So there you have it those are the last two products from Radio Master for this year. I'm not expecting to get any more in before 2024. If 2024 is anything like this year for Radio Master we're going to see more good things from them. For many pilots they're becoming the default go-to for Express LRS hardware. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.